I don't understand why people have this scary attitude about me. I'm a nice person. I drink a lot. I don't cause any trouble. I'm like you threatened to bit. kill me last show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Now you're reminding me. So you bidded me up. <laughs> you. Oh, God. You bidded me up for that fucking picture, which I have here. Is that Gerald? <laughs> you bid... His name is Gerald, you fucking <laughs> cunt. Microsoft waged war to gather platform exclusives and higher definitions. Sony built an empire from its lust for subscribers and expanded consumer base. And Kimishima shaped a battered Nintendo into a multi-role superpower. But your shame never changes. The end occurred pretty much as we'd predicted. Too many games. Not enough money or time to play them. The details are trivial and pointless. The reasons, as always, purely gamer ones. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the last remaining resources that could be acquired from consumer wallets. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons. Humble bundles, pre-order bonuses and season passes. For these resources, microtransactions would invade our games, Activision and Xblizzard, and EA would dissolve into loot box driven gameplay bent on controlling the last remaining resources on PayPal. In 2017, the challenge had come again. In 12 brief months, most of the pile was reduced to class 5 ashes, never to be seen again. And then, quite darkness fell across the land, lasting many months. Few survived the audible devastation of one of Trevor's rants. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in the soothing sounds of Val Dunica. But it was not as some had predicted the end of the challenge. Instead, the Trevpocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of challenge history. But some have succeeded in destroying their powers of shame. But shame, the year of shame never changes. Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm looking for the last semblance of a Year of Shame podcast. Has anybody seen there's it? Not much so- Hello? There's not much sign of that round here. It's been such a long journey. I'm so tired. I'm just hoping for someone to play a Year of Shame properly and not delete or block everyone and tell me if, how things If work. only there was somebody that could help us with that. It was a real pain in the ass. the year of shame challenge hello and welcome this is the year of shame challenge podcast and you're listening to the preview show for the 2019 year of shame 7 challenge i'm going to be your host this month i'm Stephen adicott you may have remember me from the year of shame 5 but i'm not doing this challenge on my own i'm not doing the show on my own i'm joined by two very lovely gentlemen i have on my left 
Mr. Richard. Hello. Ferrer. How are you doing? I'm sir? doing brilliantly, thank you. Looking forward to it. And joining us, another very beardy gentleman whose beard is going to disappear this afternoon, but it's going to be regrown back. I'll get your name right this time around, seeing as I fucked up the last recording. It's Mr. Toby James. Hello! How are you doing? That's me. Yeah, I'm good, man. Lovely to see you. See you both, actually. Yeah. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a really good year. Um, Toby, just have a quick introduction for the people out there that don't, don't know who you are. All right, man. Um, so I joined uh, Midlife Gamer in 2012, uh, came to EGX uh, that year also, um, thanks to a lovely freebie from Matt Jones. Um, I, uh, I've been playing with uh, people in the community ever since, starting on the Filthy Casual FIFA uh, with uh, Linton, uh, Rich Purvis, et al, um, and then moving on to... Uh, huge destiny life sapping game ignoring fever uh so i'm quite looking forward to getting into my back catalogue this year and uh and getting hold of some of the bigger titles good good well pe- people probably recognize my voice as i said from year shame five i've been a member of the community now for t- going on nearly 10 years 2009 showed my face for the first time in 2012 the last time at um Earl's Court. Um, so yeah, I don't really need to go into much about me, other than we don't talk about the belt. And we might that's about the it. belt and the belt, the belt. It's so spinny. Um, ah, it's lovely and shiny <laughs> and leathery, and costs oh. like seven hundred and, and expensive. No, no, no. <laughs> not that bad. It's not that bad. It's, it was for charity. That's it was for charity, was. mate. It was, it was also like the Sharks versus the Jets, that auction. Yeah, Just one hell. side of the room screaming <laughs> at the other side for about 20 minutes. Oh, memories. Um, what about yourself? Yes, I'm here as well. Yes, you are. Uh, I have been a member of the community since 2012 when I started listening to the podcast. Predominantly play on PS4. I do have an Xbox and a PC for gaming as well, though they tend to take a back seat. More of the uh, strategy RTSs on the on the old laptop. Uh, been to MLGX once it first moved to Birmingham, and uh, been going there and chucking money into the charity auction ever since. Woo! You, you bought a very lovely model this year, if I remember. What was the name? Tanky models. It was oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was tanks, wasn't it? You got the, you got the, those uh, that tank set. Is it, is it there? I have it. I have it sat. It's it's kind of. It's in a safe place. Oh, it's up there somewhere. Oh, it's up I see there, it. doing things it's with the stuff. Makes right. for great radio when we're telling people it's up there. It's up there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's 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 great. It's like it's like reading your favourite book. You ma- imagine how good it is without the need for yeah, visuals. That's, that's what happens. So, who did you have to decimate to get that tank in the auction, man? Uh, Bulldog. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it, oh. Was, it was. Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Them's fighting words. Anyway. Um, for those of you that don't know what the Year of Shame challenge is, well, uh, this started. When was it? Back in 2000 and... Well, let's be clever and go, this is number seven. Take, take seven, seven off, off it. The, off, off of 2019. 2011, um, 2012. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Hey, no, it started, it started a wee bit earlier than that, because it, it used to be um, EGX to EGX. Wow. It wasn't an annual thing. Um, so, yeah, I think it started 2011. It was Cy Stevens, Jace and Darren. Not Darren. D11520. I can't remember Darren's surname. Let's just but say not they, Fister. Not Fister. They had um, a little challenge with themselves that they wouldn't buy games and try and work through their pile of shame for an entire year between the EGX and when they met up in the following year. And they recorded their their journeys. And it kind of morphed into another group deciding to do it the following year. And now it's just an annual challenge where we spend a year working through our piles of shame, all those things we picked up for cheap prices and never got to play and never had the time to even open the wrappers on and we deny ourselves purchasing any games for a year and that's it that's basically the challenge yeah. we'll just be going through the year recording our thoughts every month hopefully interacting with you all on facebook 
and getting as much lovely support as we can or trolling. But or, or, or do remember, shit from Jace. Yeah, Jace, Ollie, if you're listening, keep us on track. We won't block you for trolling us. No, yeah. that's not accepted. We might cuddle you for accepted. it because we're sadists. That's why we're doing this. How is this year going to differ from any any of the other years? Well, it's it, we're going back to the year four and five strictness. Um, it's going to be simpler and that, that kind of thing. None of this credit kind of crap tradings, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's going oh, on this wait, year. If you don't lose out on money. Yeah, I don't, really don't know what's going on with this year's one. I've just, to be honest, not listened to it. Um, not, I don't even think I'm allowed to listen to it. It's the thing. Um, <laughs> this this podcast know. will be a muddy-free, controversy-free zone. Fuck I've that. Plenty, hopefully, plenty of swearing. Oh yeah, I'll be fucking swearing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> fucking fucking swearing. Fuck. Yay. Fuck. Although I'm waiting, I'm hoping we don't get the c word until at least episode three. Yeah. What? Oh, we both we both <laughs> nearly went for it. Then. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> uh, we both went what? <laughs> and then we're trying. We, you could see us both thinking of a witty word that began with c that wasn't the word you're referring to, and neither of us got there. Yeah, that's so true. I was. That's, and that's I just literally what happened. I was like, "What children?" And I was like, "No, don't say children. Don't say children. Children is a dirty word around here." I was going to say carrots. <laughs> Yeah, go on. How, we, how is this year differing? Um, not much in the way of style, but what we are going to attempt to do at the end of this year is hopefully any newcomers who decide to take on the challenge will just carry on seamlessly from us. They'll use the same web page, same contact details, Twitter, all that kind of thing. And we'll also try and host their podcast on the same stream. So you won't have to go changing Facebook groups every year. You won't have to go changing your RSS streams or whatever it is you're used to subscribe to podcasts. My it finger. will just flow on as normal. Um, but into the nitty gritty, one of you two gentlemen, I asked to re- to tell us what the rules were for this year. Yeah, um, I, who would like to do that? I, I'm I'm good with it. I'm I'm all down with rules. Right, um, you, the baton is yours. Thanks, man. So, please start the controversy. How are we going to be controversial this year with rules? We're going to play the song "Controversy" every time uh, we get the chance. Um, but also, we will not be deviating from one gift, one Joker, PS Plus, and Xbox Live for the sake of being able to play multiplayer games online. No one plays half those games anyway. No new subs for n- new services. No paid subscriptions for MMOs, uh, unless it's already been paid for, you know. So basically no spending money in 2019. No freebies, no competition wins, expansions or DLC, uh, at least in the first instance. But if there are any specialist cases, we'll discuss on the show. And then Jason and Ollie can call us assholes for discussing it, even in the yep. first place. Uh, finally... It's not there for the purpose of ruining your life. The Year of Shame challenge is to uh, get through your pile of shame and support these beardy, lovely bastards while we try and get through all of the games that we've never had time to play before. That, that sounds like a good rule. I can't see anyone giving us any shit for that. We're just literally not going to be spending. I, I think the only thing we are looking at it, to even spend money on is re-upping the... PS Plus and yeah. Games of Gold. Yeah. Uh, not Games of Gold, the live services just to allow us to play yeah. online. And because I don't I don't subscribe to them for the games. No. It's I mean, so I can play with lovely people. Plus mine are being paid for for Christmas by family, so I'm not spending money on them. And so, that Christmas is this year, remember? That's right. Yeah. I do that's remember. There. I remember it's in like twenty three days. Yeah. I've already watched that new Netflix film with Kurt Russell in it. It's lovely. lovely. Oh, don't it. Oh. <laughs> I had that as soon as it came out. The missus was playing that, and that was before my bloody birthday. I I fought to wait until the 30th of November. Oh, I did, no Christmas songs go on in this house until the 1st of December. That is my rule. That's the one rule I I just don't want it. It's not Christmas until December. Yeah, right. well, now it is December. Have you uh, heard the Lost tap- uh, Loose Tapestries uh, Christmas song? Loose Tapestries Christmas song? No, that means you need to look it up. So, Noel Fielding, Surge from Kasabian. 
Path histories. And Idris Elba rapping at the end. Oh, it's right. fucking it's, brilliant. It's a winner then. It's fucking everything brilliant. is. Everything is better with Idris Elba. Is, is, so. well, this is it. They, <laughs> they, they've obviously sat there. They've, they've got this weird musical side project, Serge and Noel Fielding, and they thought, right, who does everyone like? Idris Elba. Everyone likes Big Driss. I love it. Big Driss. That's what his rap name is, Big Driss. No, <laughs> word, no, no word of a lie. Down here in Londinium, if you go to a show and see Big Driss, you're getting Idris Elba rapping on the mic. Oh, big dress. If it wasn't his name to... now, it is. Pro- no one would call themselves little dress, would you? I mean, like, <laughs> my the other day, no word of a lie, I'm talking to my wife and my daughter, my two and a half year old daughter comes up to me and goes, shut up, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a fucking minute. <laughs> For starters, daddy's a six footer. Let's not go there. Secondly, so, for, from I am now on, you're being, you're being referred to as Little Boy Tuds <laughs> on the show. I can, I can take little, it. Little Boy. It, that wasn't something that your wife's called you in the bedroom, is it? And your daughter had just heard it. No, she calls me Get Out of the Bedroom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, so I don't think we can get take any controversy from our rules. They seem very, very straightforward, don't they? Yeah, man. I, I like to think that we've got it covered, but you know... There are them what's got probs. Um, we'll just send Big Driss round to them. We'll, we'll send Big Driss round. But also, I mean, this is a year of shame challenge. And this community is founded on a strong sense of ribbing that has been long present. And no one is going to get blocked, cried at, moaned at, or anything else for giving a shit about our rule set, about what we say on the show, about what we think. Or about the games that we play. So bring it on, lads. Yeah, we're going to be very, going to be very open this year as well. Um, I know I'm going to be streaming a lot. No, no, not going to promote it at all. It's just so people can see that I am actually <laughs> playing shit. But we're also got we're having our uh, exophase stuff on, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we're so having exophase. Actually... Yes. So you can see exactly what we've been playing through the year if we're linked up to it. Although yeah. I don't think I can link my switch up, but. Well, yeah, there's nothing being bought for that this year anyway. I mean, what I like about Exophase, and, and, you know, I mean, I'm sure there'll be people that will have something to say about this, but it's, you, know, <laughs> you post on Twitter that you can't play a game till January, then your Exophase shows that you're playing it. I mean, that'd be good, wouldn't it, right? <laughs> right? Yes. It'd be great, that, that, right? That, that, yeah. The, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? You wouldn't no, want you wouldn't. that to happen. I mean, imagine if you were doing a Year of Shame challenge and that happened, you'd look like a bit of a prick. You you would look like a big dress then. You would look like yep. a big dress. <laughs> oh, oh dear. But, I mean that's all hypothetical, right? We don't know. It's anyone hypothetical. That's done that. Yes, we're not. We're we not going to break. We, we don't know anyone that's done that. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. You, it's a good game. Yeah, it's a good game. I'm playing it this year because I'm doing Year of Shame next year. So, are we having any forfeits? Have you two, you two decided if we're going to be having any forfeits this year? I, we didn't on year five. I don't know. The only forfeit I can remember was was it Colum had to melt some amiibos a couple of years ago, put them Jesus. in the oven. I can't remember. That was I mean, amiibo gate. No, I need to go back to that. To 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 put it mildly, no, I I don't, I don't really. think so. I mean, for starters, it's because them. we're not going to fuck it up. Um, we're not going to need them. But but secondly, it's because you know, um, did we, you, I I think the forfeit will be the shit that we'll get from everyone else. Um, I don't think we need to self-flagellate. That's not what this year is about, anyway, is it's it? Not. It's not. It's, well, it's about supporting each other. I mean, it might be yeah. about self-flagellation, but not not for <laughs> the sake of gaming, just because we like it. You you can get all the beatings you want verbally from people like Ollie and Jace. And and you know if that's not I think case, that's forfeit enough. Services. If you if you want to risk breaking the challenge and having those two come at you, <laughs> I've, I've, had ja- <laughs> I've had Jace come at me many times. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I said at you, <laughs> not in you. Oh, okay. No, he's never came at me. Came, yeah, no, okay. You know, right. We're, we're, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I can't, how can how can I carry on from that? I've got this image of Jace riding you like a horse now. Um, yeah, he calls me Seabiscuit. 
and I call him Soggy Biscuit. And he calls him Big Driss. I call him Big Driss the Soggy Biscuit. <laughs> right, I'm sure our listeners would love to know why you t- why we've all decided to do the challenge this year. Um, I know you two have both been listening um, in previous years. Yeah, man. Um, have either of you two ever taken part in the challenge before? I can't. I... Sorry, please do, Rich. Please do. I followed your guys unofficially in the year, in Year of Shame 5. Um, and did that one then. I listened to the the one prior to that, but I didn't take part with. Uh, it was Neil and Jason Spinkles before you, wasn't it? I think. And, a, and AD, a, yeah. In AD, yeah. I can remember the fourth person. Oh, well, AD's not going to like you. That's literally like my story, so I feel like I've got nothing to say, except that I was still on the reviewing uh, staff uh, when I joined in with Year of Shame 5. So although I wasn't buying. Uh, or get uh, spending anything new. I was reviewing a few games which have now fell into my pile of shame going forward, like uh, Yakuza Zero. That's one that needs to be. Uh... Yeah, I had that to review. That was nice. That, that's one I've got for next year as well yeah. to put to plough through. Well, then we'll have a chat so, yeah. about that. Yeah, can do. You'll have, you'll have to let me know when you're playing it, and yeah. we'll do it. We'll do it yeah. the same in, month in tandem. Yeah. yeah. As for myself, everyone knows I would. I did Year of Shame Five. I'm yeah. just back for the sheer hell of it. Hashtag glutton. Hat, yeah, I'm a glutton for punishment. No, I've got a good reason, which I'll go into why I'm doing it this year again. It's not political either. But I'll ask you... <laughs> fucking Brexit! First. <laughs> it's fucking Brexit. It is. I'm Brexit in this! Well, I'll ask you first, though, Richard. Why is it you're wanting to do the Year of Shame this year? What, are there any reasons for it? Do you have an extra... Ex- extremely large set of piles or um oh, yeah, oh yeah. i've got a huge uh, mine's huge cafe or lip or food and good nice uh, my uh, <sighs> my 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 default state of uh, purchasing tends to be i'll see something in a sale and go that's cheap it'd be rude not to with absolutely <laughs> with absolutely would be. no idea when i'm gonna play it so i have loads and loads of things and i'd be browsing amazon and so, well one of the things that i've got on the list it, uh, rogue trooper showed up for a fiver and i just went you know what that'd be that'd be rude not to so i got it and it's still sat there all i've done is install it in the patch it's just waiting to be played but I haven't even fired up the opening sequence yet. I don't know what it's all about. Well, I do, because I've played Rogue Trooper in the past, but, you know, so I, te- I tend to just buy something because it's there. So in order to reduce the aforementioned pile of things that I'm building up, uh, it's got to be it's got to be this. It's the only way to discipline myself. Having done it myself, it is a very cathartic experience, I'll say. It's you get to the going through a year, getting through your pile, not actually having, not actually buying anything, and changing your purchasing habits at the end of it. You do feel refreshed. It's it may seem tough at the time. You'll go through dips and peaks and troughs, but it is a worthwhile challenge at the end. I have to say. Um, so kudos to you, dude. Thank you for joining me. I didn't want to do it on my own this year. And, oh, uh, we couldn't. We couldn't see you go through it twice. Well, well, we could, but we're just getting a bird's eye view this time. This yeah. this this time we're closer to the action. You're at the, the centre of the storm. We're yeah, right the eye of the storm. The reason I'm doing it, there are two reasons. One political. And that, no, it's not. Really political. <laughs> the reason I'm doing it is Brexit. Brexit. Yeah, it's completely Brexit. No, I'm I'm doing it this year because I, I I wanted on Year of Shame. For, it, it was an idea of Jason's on Year of Shame Four was to start bringing things together didn't quite work out i just wanted to try and do it on new shame five and by the end of it i was i was a bit worn out so this year i thought fuck it i'll do it again i'll never get a chance well i may get a chance to do it again (laughs) doubt i'll fucking do it but thought yeah we'll bring it bring it all back into mlg fold keep it nice and uh tight with the mlg community and hopefully um get a larger listening base and more people on for next year but the other reason Ooh, and I only really th- thought about this the other day was if there's going to be any new systems out, it'll probably be 2020. So if I'm going to do another year of shame, I'd rather get it done and out of the way than in a year when there's going to be new console coming out. So, yeah, it means I'm free for 2020 if a PS5 or an Xbox 2 I'm comes free. out or anything like that. Yeah. That's basically it. Plus, I've got a load of games I want to get through. I've not accumulated much on my 
a pile from year five. But that that second reason was the re- proper adult reason for doing that's it. That's the adult reason. Yeah, that, that's planning right there. It's thinking hard, it not thinking smart. My pile's not got gotten much bigger over the last year. I've accumulated a few things because, like yourself, Richard, it's I see prices that it's rude not to buy things. Yeah, how so could you turn like, that down? I've got Nino Cooney two for ten quid. And it was just like, yeah. Mila Kunis 2? Nino Kuni 2. It's a brilliant game. I've, yeah. I've Mila not Kunis. finished it. So, yeah, so I just, I've, I've picked up a whole load of stuff last year, and I just want to crack through them. There's a couple of games I want to run through a second time, like Persona 5. Um, if I don't set aside some time to do it, I will never get through a second playthrough and add another 150 hours to that playtime. It's bad. <laughs> It's a good game. What about yourself, Toby? Why are you joining us this year? Why am I doing this challenge this year? Okay, uh, a couple of reasons. First, I have a lot of games still in the wrappers. A lot. I am a self-professed greedy bastard. Uh, up until uh, playing along with you guys in Euro Shame 5, I would just ask for shit for birthdays and Christmases. And there are so many that I've never played. Like, even Mad Max is still in that, the wrappers. I have that, but it's on digital and it's going on my list. Well, then, we, we, when I finish playing Yakuza with uh, Steve, me and you will do that. But, uh, but yeah, so, mostly that. Also, the fact that, you know, I, um, I really wanted to get into some of the big games in my collection that I keep putting off. Uh, lots of big RPGs. Uh, also, I really, really want to take some time to replay Mass Effect Trilogy. Um, I just want to get in that bad boy and feel all shepherdy again. Um... Is, on... Before you go, is that because you're so let down with Andromeda? No, I loved Andromeda. I will. Did you? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down with it. I'm, I'm putting myself out there. It had its flaws, but I really wanted to see where that went, and I'm really disappointed that I won't ever get to. Um, like it was set up perfectly for new stuff to happen, DLC and all sorts, and it just is so. It's, it's an open-ended story that will never be closed. Um, so there's a lot of really shit fan fiction that always ends up in Shepard having sex with somebody that he wouldn't have. Not even Shepard. I forget what his name is. Ryder. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, it's, it's on Ryder. my pile this it's year, Ryder. so I will be playing it uh, um, at some point. But uh, yeah, so basically, as we know, fan fiction just ends up in people fucking. Um, so yeah. it's, 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 not, it's not the rounded <laughs> experience that we wanted. Um so yeah i mean uh all in all it's uh it's yeah it's some replays of some favorites it's getting some big things out of the way uh clearing out games that i've never played that people have been generous enough to buy me um and generally just uh just getting back to enjoying stuff without riding on a hype train all year it, it, it to be honest that was one of the reasons why i did the first year is um that i'd, I'd get sucked into the hype of games you know you get every everyone going on oh this is so good and the, the hype would yeah. go and i just buy stuff yeah. for the sake of yeah. buying it mm-hmm. um and i'm not saying it's going to happen in 2019 but our first quarter in 2017 was really difficult because we had so many good games coming out there's yeah. yakuza 6 there was um horizon zero dawn there were things that were people were just jumping on left right and center that had come out of nowhere mm-hmm. and it was a really difficult ride those first three months because you, you're thinking everyone else is playing it i want to play it and yeah but we we will be good there are no well, nothing i nothing i big also next year i think i feel like i have to I'm put fun. in there that another game that i'm looking forward to playing this year that i've never played and you know just makes what's going on in the community at the moment even more painful is red dead redemption number one. Oh, it's good so i've got that ready to go um is that and, backwards uh, compatibility no, no, I've got, I've still got my PS3. It's up in the boudoir, you know, for watching blurries in bed. Um, but, uh, but also, uh, I have a few games on it to play. So, Red Dead Redemption, Kingdoms of Amalur. Um, oh, that's a good one as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to smashing through that. Um, so, yeah, um, Red Dead Redemption is uh, is ready to to go, and I don't have Red Dead Redemption too. So, unless someone buys it for me for Christmas, it won't be uh, won't be following straight on. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you don't get it next year before Christmas is fine. You've unless got another... I unless I play it as my Joker. So, yeah, Joker's fine. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Do we, do you two have Jokers in mind? Well, Ooh. I mean, it really does depend on like um, so Cyberpunk. Yes, that's um, the one and only one I would say is on my list. Well, and also, I mean, the, there's rumblings that it's now not going to be until next gen. Um, 
The other thing for me, which again is rumoured to not be until next gen now, is Death Stranding. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, mm. that, that looks uh, intriguing, uh, but I've heard rumblings that that now is going to be next gen as well. The Hideo Kojima Postman Simulator. Yeah. As I've heard some people call it. <laughs> Cor- yeah. Courier Simulator. Whatever that thing with, what's his face? Uh, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus yeah. in it. Well, I mean, The Walking Dead's dying on its ass, so he's got to have something to fall back on, hasn't he? He's more walking. Yeah. <laughs> Just no dead. Well, there might. What be he needs to do is, is a year of walking. Nobody knows what those things are in Death Stranding, so it's like, fuck yeah, he could be. He I'm could not be even sure Kojima dead. knows. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, let's just put some of this shit in here. It looks cool. Is there anything else you're worried about for next year? Either of you? I mean, you both said Cyberpunk 2077. Mm. If it's out, could be a wobble for you. Um, you entitled to buy it if it does come out? If that is your Joker. Yeah, no yeah. one can complain about that or if someone gives you it as a gift when I was joining um, you guys on Year of Shame 5 um, playing in the background I played my Joker very very early with Mass Effect um, and, uh, and a lot of people said that was very risky business um, because it hadn't had any reviews or anything else but I still stand by it um, and I'm happy with an early Joker if I'm, if I'm so inclined but nothing's caught my eye yet um, oh. um, we, we should I, see if there's any early jokers this year. Mm. I tend to, well, certainly from having the past experience, I, I try not to get too excited about anything, <laughs> including games. I, I just, uh, it's like it's like a shit version of the Hulk. I'm not excited all the time. <laughs> it's, oh, it, it's so shit. You want to see version? <laughs> I, got, I, I go mildly lime coloured instead of green. I just get a little <laughs> bit cross. Yes, a little bit narked. You say that, but I mean, you don't, you don't want to see me slightly perturbed. Not, well, I, I was going to say that this community, not everyone will have seen the debt collector folder that I've seen. Because uh, Euro, MLG, well, EGX, not last year, but the year before, me, you, and a very worse for wear Mr. Matthew Moore got a taxi back from the NEC. To uh, to the dragon to get booze, oh, yes, and uh, and you had to pay my fare because I had no cash, and yeah. uh, you came up to me when I was very worse for wear about three or four hours later and went, "Where's my tenner? <laughs> Where's my uh, fucking tenner?" And you still haven't paid me. No, I know, <laughs> but uh, I was I was ready for a kneecap in the way you came bowling over. Where's my tenner? Yeah, but that kneecapping would have been because I had butted you. <laughs> Well, oh. so yeah, people need to watch out for this uh, this flip side forwarder because uh, he's in there. He's waiting to get out. So, so you're both looking forward to next year, then? Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I don't know. It's. It, I think we'll get through it. It's going oh, to be fine. Look, I mean, we, we've mentioned it a few times, but we do genuinely have to deal with fucking Brexit next year. Yeah. So you know. That's gonna, it's just gonna make everyone sad. You may, you may find that we don't have any episodes after uh, <laughs> March because it just all goes. Because the to UK's society. got no power. <laughs> yeah, society goes to hell, and we're all grabbing our uh, bug out bags and hiding away in the hills. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's why I need to get my bug out bag sorted. I, I don't live okay, anywhere. I, don't. I live in the south. We don't have hills. Is there anything you two would like to discuss before we go on to how can the community get involved with us? Nothing. Um, I'm, I'm just getting blank. blank no. Up. Yeah, no, I'm. I just, you know, just enjoying this Sunday afternoon, sitting here talking to two hairy fellas on Skype. This is actually a trimmed beard as it's, well. It was, it was bigger. It's Ooh. like bigger. I've been spending most of my life living in a bear man's paradise. Are you going to carry on with those? What puns? Carry on with what? Well, no, well, no it's uh, alterations of songs into really appalling versions containing beards. Yes. It's going to be a year-long theme. Yes, okay. We can work with that. Love me love me and beard me. Beard me to love. Seahorses. He'd do, he'd do anything for a beard, but he won't do that. I won't do that. You are damn right. That would be a good thing for the actual show titles. Your job every week, every month, beard-related show titles. Fine. Oh, that's right. uh, the year of beard. Can we change it? 
changing I, from YOS to YOB. It's the year I, of beard. I love what people can't see is Steve making all of his little notes. I'm doing a little note. <laughs> I am. I've got this. This is this is my. If you see it, this is my year. This is slightly five. annoyed book. <laughs> it's, it's basically it's got all my notes from year five and everything and oh, all cute. my notes pre-show and i just i'm yeah when it when he says notes he means like serious profiling on a cia level of everything that everyone says so well are we uh, having all our individual domestic detail contacts now or we can, we can. Uh, just in general how do you, you know how how can the community get involved with year of shame in general and then if you want to give out your individual Twitter feed, you, you I'm, so. I'm going to keep yourself up. I'm going to keep people in in the dark about that till the first show, so they have to listen. That's fine. So we've got we've got a Facebook group. Uh, we have uh, Twitter. Have we got? Do we? Are we using Instagram for anything? No, we're not using it. What is our Twitter though? Oh, well, no, 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 said, right, look at the show notes. <laughs> look at the show notes. It says at the very top, contact oh. details. Oh, yeah. You ain't, you're anticipating I've read everything. Yeah, but this I, is am I going to have another Trev this year? This is well, you don't. I send out comprehensive list. notes every month and no one bothers to fucking read them. I fucking it's... read them. I literally just read out the rules pretty much verbatim with a bit of ad libbing. I know. I know, I know. Didn't even have to think. <laughs> no. Okay. Right, <laughs> no, that's that's going in. That's, that's, going, that's okay. going in the uh, bit at the end. The uh, outtakes. Don't worry. Hello, Steve. You're my bitch now. <laughs> there was a problem with your toilet, Steve, but I fixed it. Um. Go on, please. <laughs> So we okay. So we have uh, a, t- a Twitter account which is at Year of Shame, and we want you to use the hashtags Y O S H I or Yoshi, as somebody seems to have put. Well, that that that's from the first year. Uh, basically, questions every month would come in, and there'd be it's the Year of Shame host interrogation. And that's uh, how they did it. Yeah, Yoshi. I see what you've done there. I, well, not me. Not me. That's year uh, one. Or. Alternatively, you can use the hashtag Year of Shame, why it's YOS 2019. I, I just want to interject on that one before we move any further. Because I thought I'd have a quick search on hashtag YOS 2019. And uh, York Open Studio are using it for all of their exhibitions for the next year. Are they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to get some interesting They're gonna get tags some then, aren't they? <laughs> and so are we. <laughs> No, um, fine, I mean, no. we're ready for it, but they're not. We are. They're not. <laughs> we have uh, an email address. It's yearofshame at gmail.com. And pop YOS2019 in the title, just so that we can make sure we're uh, seeing what we need to see. As opposed to the stuff from our off- overseas banker. And he, oh, he's a terrible banker. He is. Banks all over the place, but sorts out our money. And uh, for which we're getting nothing. Ooh. Are you not getting paid? Are you? Well, now I feel you, awkward. You, you, you didn't. You didn't send your details into the HR department. I. I. I, I mean, I, I'm to, getting a grand a month. Speak to Jace about that. I thought, what? How the fuck did you get that? Who, who signed off on that? Well, I'm getting jack shit as you, well. You suck Jace off, you get the money. I mean, that's how it works. Oh. Well, this, this, well we're back to what, what you'll do for that. <laughs> well. <laughs> I would do anything for cash, and there isn't a that, so you know. Um, and finally, the Facebook page, <laughs> which is just the Year of Shame Challenge. Uh, some people are already members on there. Uh, so sign up to that as well and see what's going on, catch up with what we're doing. Yeah. If, I'd like to add if you're a member of the MLG group, it's a, the, there's no need to get authenticated. You're straight in. Mm. But if you're not, then we just need to author you to get into the group, so. There's no questions to get in. Just as long as you're not trying to sell us sunglasses, that's fine. Although we will accept pictures of you with a towel. We we oh, openly yes. accept those and, in fact, encourage. Quick round table. Yeah. Anything you'd, anything you'd like to bring forward? Any, anything at all for next year's year of shame? So are you, Toby. Anything? Nothing? Um, you no. Can, you can say I mean, shit if you want. I don't want to say that. Like, I mean, what if someone called Jack's listening and he just sends in a pile of poop? So I, I'm not going to say that because I don't want his poop. 
in my life. Uh, but nothing. No, man, I'm good. You're good to go. I'm good right. to go. GTG. Oh, GTG. What about you, Richard? Nothing from you? Uh, nothing from me. I will be in future podcasts. I said nothing and then start talking now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, stick in some details about the some World of Tanks Twitch broadcasts and things like that. Um, but I've got a bit of setting up to do at my end for those. So if people want to play along on the uh, the old Twitch and tune in for those, then I will be putting details out in the future. That's fine. That's fine. We we are happy to pimp anyone's stuff on the Year of Shame podcast. Um, if you want to just join in with any of us, go ahead. Don't don't uh, be polite about it. Just jump into our streams, play along, whatever. As long as we get the support, <laughs> that's all we ask. I'm I don't want to see see any pictures of uh, or streams of people self pleasuring themselves around trying to play something. No, but you say that. Other, I say that. You st- I, <laughs> it, it's it's happened once to me. <laughs> Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> and I knew it was one of the first times I went onto Xbox Live and I was playing <laughs> Uno online. <laughs> what a game to and have a wank over. I start that. It's, it was, it's just just there and there's like three people. And then all of a sudden someone joins in. And it's, it's just a picture of... It's the live feed of them furiously pleasuring themselves, and it's not a headshot. It was just like from the chest down, and it was. Just, I like yeah. they was furious, like they're angry that with put, themselves. It, ah! it put me off my hand. If <laughs> <laughs> Probably put well, him off yeah. it too. No, he seemed to be enjoying himself. So, folks, that's it. That's our first preview. Well, that's the preview show over and done with. Hope yeah. you join in with us um, over the coming year. We should hopefully be recording at the beginning, or near the beginning of every month. We'll give you some uh, heads up as to when we need questions in. But just fire us questions anytime, and we'll put them in our bank and try and answer them as soon as possible. As I say, join in with us on the Facebook group. Jump in with us when we're playing online. Support us if you want. Troll us if you want. We don't care. Just keep listening. And we'll hopefully uh, speak to you all next month. Yay! So, from us, Year of Shame Challenge 2019. Have a good Christmas, Happy New Year, and we'll see you on the challenge for proper. Bye! Bye! Folks. Bye! Bye. Bye.